Tell me you love me. Hey guys, today I'm doing a get ready with me and I thought I would start it off a little bit more vlog style because why not? Just had a shower. I'm in my towel. I'm just about to moisturize. My skin feels so bloody dry. Tempted to do a really quick hydrating mask. Today I am going to meet up with my team at Exo Beauty and we're going to have some drinks and food to celebrate the fact that we've caught up on orders and celebrate a successful launch with the Hexa Sweets palette. I was going to use the Tati palette today but I might do that over the weekend or on Monday now because Hamish wanted to take some photos of me wearing Exo Beauty makeup today so I'm going to do a whole lot of Exo Beauty makeup and some other brands as well for the products we don't have. I thought I might use the Heaps of Sweets palette because I haven't really used it since my launch video on YouTube. I might do some gemstones and a soft pink lip and I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair or anything and I don't know what I'm going to wear. I have these new moisturizers in here. Where are they? This one. This is the Phyto Replenish Body Oil. I thought I'd leather myself in the leather. I don't really know if leather is the right word. But you know what I mean. I might chuck this all over my body because I feel dry. And like I said, do a quick hydrating mask. Just turning on those fairy lights. You know how it is. Alright, let's switch over. Oh my gosh, my hair is an actual mess. This is the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. I'll put a link down below to a video where you can get a discount code for this. It's just magic when my skin feels parched like it does today. We had the aircon on by accident like all night last night and I think it's just like completely dehydrated my skin. On the rest of my skin I'm gonna moisturize with this. Phyto Replenish Body Oil Bergamot Orange Blossom. Is there like a certain way you're supposed to use this? Mm, I'm assuming you just put it on right? Oh it feels good and it's soaking in so fast. Okay I need to get out of this towel because I'm really nervous I'm going to slip a tit. YouTube will not stand for that. All right well this face mask works it's magic. Let's go make it a quick iced coffee because I just love a good iced coffee while while I get ready for the day. Put on this really cute robe that Dermalogic has sent me. This is it sponsored by the way. It's just a coincidence. It is one of my favorite skincare brands, so you know how it is. So good. And this right here, this is my berry collagen, which I've just grown to absolutely freaking adore the taste of. I just like to make a coffee and a collagen and just sip away at them. Let's continue. I can go rinse off this mask now. All right, babes, let's get started. We're gonna use something ridiculously hydrating. Is this like a terrible angle? I feel like this is a very bad angle. We are going to use my Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Primer because it is real hydrating and brightening. And it smells delicious. Mm, yeah, that's good. Look at that glow it gives. Can you see that? And then for concealer today, I'm going to use my Swan Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced to carve out my brows. They're looking so good still from my recent brow tint at Benefit. By the way, if you're wondering why my background is so messy, I just filmed a unboxing video. It'll be up soon. I know how much you guys love watching those. Now I'm just using a concealer brush to spread it out and create really sharp lines around my brows. And I'm going to try out this color in the Close Up Futuristic Foundation by Nabla. This is in the shade L50 Light. I'm hoping it'll match. God. I think this color's gonna be a little bit too dark, but I feel like we can work with it. I think I'll end up getting rid of this color because I feel like even if I had a bit of fake tan on right now, like a bit more fake tan on, it's just uh, orange. See that? The other colors are better. M20 and M40. I'm gonna layer on some Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Foundation. Pretty sure I did a first impression on this. I'll link it below. I'm using the back of my sponge where I haven't like used the sponge yet to blend and I'm just going around my hairline. It's a good way just to get the foundation in there without like adding more foundation into your hair. Guys, I really like that body moisturizer. It made my skin feel like satin and it wasn't hard to rub it. You know, sometimes when your skin's super dry, if you've got a dry body, I know you'll relate to me right now. My body is so dry. Sometimes I use moisturizers and it actually takes so long for it to like actually rub in. It just goes white and streaky for ages. I've got to rub, rub, rub for like five minutes before my whole body's covered in moisturizer and it's actually like rubbed in. Whereas that oil, you just kind of like put on a layer and it just soaks in itself. So I like that. I think it might be my new thing because I feel like that was way faster than 
normal moisturizer like I said. Just adding some more concealer under my eyes, making sure to apply it on my waterline as well just to conceal the redness because I get like super red inside my eyes. Don't know why, I think it's just the way I was programmed. Okay, I'm feeling prettier now. Now I'm going to use some Nikia Joy Cosmetics powder under my eyes just on my flawless finish sponge but she also sells a really good sponge on her website as well with like a flat edge but I'm just using this because I've already got it right here and it's damp already. I'm gonna try a shade of light from the Nabla Smoothing Close-Up Pressed Powder. I am just obsessed with this brand right now. I should have tried that new Kylie Hydrating Mask. I am just pre-filming queen right now. I have been so motivated to film, especially because I'm going up to my beach house over Christmas and New Year's and I want to have heaps of content. So I've just been like pre-filming and getting heaps of stuff ready for you guys so that you guys have heaps of stuff to watch over summer. I'll probably come back like, I don't know, a week into January or something like that, but you know. But yeah, let me know if there's anything you want more of. I'm gonna be filming more of my closet declutters. I'm gonna be filming more makeup declutters. I've got that full face first impression and unboxing video coming but I'm kind of excited I'm really excited to try the Tati Beauty palette I was actually meant to use it today but yeah Hamish wanted me to do a full face of as much extra beauty as I could so that we could take some photos just for social media and stuff like that and I think to promote our rescue me shade because I think we're doing something with that anyways that's enough about that I feel so awkward like not shoving extra beauty down your throat but you know <laughs> it makes me feel awkward I was using this yesterday I think <sighs> I love it so much still. I haven't used it in a while. My Sweetheart's Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer by Too Faced. This is going over my cheeks just to, oh, I just stared myself in the eye. Glow my skin up a little bit. It's got a beautiful, like, luminous finish. Not shimmery, just luminous. Okay, so if you didn't know, I've just done my brows in primer. If you didn't know, we've got an EXO Beauty VIP group on Facebook where you can like share your looks and stuff and someone called Jazz in my group made this look right here with the heaps of sweets palette and gemstones and I was just like, it's so cute. So I'm thinking of like recreating something similar today. It's so pretty. So, be a good start if I knew where my palette was. I'm going to start with a little bit of Macaron. I love this palette so much and you guys went crazy over this. Thank you guys so much for your support and I hope you are loving your palette. There's still a few on stock but we've reordered because I don't want to like just sit in out of stock for ages so it's so amazing I love it so much you can see the reviews on the website now um if you have been on the fence about it and you're not too sure what like what it's like because you know I can understand if you're like oh well of course Shannon's gonna say it's good so yeah you can go check out the website to see other reviews I'm just gonna blend this quite high because I'm gonna use the brighter purples. I just want to like use this to kind of soften the look. Just like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna be wearing the craziest makeup for friggin' lunch. We're doing lunch and drinks and it's at like a flash restaurant. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting, but you know what? Whatever. It'll make a cute picture. Next I'm gonna take Gumdrop, which is a purpley pinky matte. Oh, I've got like powder on the brush and it's giving me goosebumps. You know when you touch like a weird texture and it's like, oh. Okay, I'm gonna apply a small amount of this color. I'm using literally like the tiny little dab and I'm just gonna build it up as I go because I don't want it to be too crazy literally going in with one little bit at a time and I'll probably build it up a bit once I actually put down the purple too it's gonna go on with my finger and a lollipop which is the purple shimmer my dream purple is like what I love to call it I'm just using it dry for now but I might go in with a wet layer afterwards okay I'm gonna take a dense shadow brush by so beauty this is really good to pack on pigments and things and I'm just going to get into those areas where I couldn't with my finger this brush makes the shimmers and eyeshadows pop as well all right I'm just gonna keep it simple like that and then on the lower lash line I'm gonna take some of the shade vanilla which is like a real cool tone neutral this is like probably my favorite shade in the whole palette it's so pretty just like all over the lid it's kind of almost like a purplish tone so I'm gonna do some little gemstones I've got these ones right here and I've also got these multicolored ones which there's some like bigger pink ones I'm gonna do a quick winged liner first using my Jouer kitten liner I put on a little bit of this Chain Reaction by Chi Chi on my inner corner. You'll be able to see on my other camera like the colors much better because right now this lighting is like washing me out. Can I make it darker? I just feel like it looks so shit on this camera right now. But anyways, now we're gonna do some little gemstones. I'm kind of doing one where my wing and my brow would like join. I'm just gonna wing it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Halfway to the arch and then under the arch. Let's try this for now. 
We'll see how it goes. So just put the pink ones in the middle. Do we feel like this one's too low? I feel like that one's too low. I'm gonna pull that one off. I'm just gonna put a little pink one right underneath my eye. Oh, you can barely see it, but it's kind of cute because it just kind of hits the light every now and then. All right, I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes. I'll be right back. This is taking way too long. All right, because I'm being extra today, I just wanna show you what I'm doing before I do it. I'm gonna stack these two lashes, which are the Chic and the Romantic. These are the Chic, just because I want like natural lashes, but like the gay F. All right, friends, now we're gonna use Aurora highlighter. How good do these lashes look, by the way? Stacked up. So much volume, but they still look so natural. This, I'm using the Detail Face Brush. Just dry. This is more of like a pinky undertone champagne. So it looks really pretty with the purples and cool tones. I feel like I should do some blush. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Pool Party Blush Trio. I'm gonna use a pop of the pink too. Just a little amount, just to freshen up my complexion. And then we're gonna do a soft pink lip. I'm gonna start with Kelly, just to create a darker lip line. And then I'm going in with one of my collaborative lipsticks. This is called Rescue Me. This is how the box looks. It's got little paw prints all over it because the charity we worked with on this collaboration is called Hoo-Ha. It stands for helping you help animals. They're my favorite no-kill shelter. They really care about like animal welfare. So half of all the profits of this color go straight to Hoo-Ha so we can help even more animals. And here is how the color looks. It's a beautiful pink so you can wear it alone. And it's like that perfect sheen baby pink. It's a vegan formula and it is made in Italy. Or you can wear it with Mari for like a very natural everyday look. That's one of my favorites. Or pairing it up with Kelly lip pencil. It just creates this beautiful like ombre effect. It's so stunning, so moisturizing, and just looks beautiful. So if you're looking for a new lipstick, definitely consider Rescue Me because it helps fund a really good cause. So now I've got to go and sort out my hair and outfit. What are we gonna do, guys? I don't know. I've only drank half my coffee too. This is a problem. So I thought I would do some loose waves. I just asked on Twitter. I've got a few like big waves, loose waves. I don't really even know how to do big waves, so we'll just do waves and see what happens, but. I'm gonna wear my extensions that make my hair longer. I've only got one set that make my hair longer now because all of my Chic Hair extensions from Chic Hair NZ, I think is the website, they all match my length. So I've got these luxy ones, which are longer. And now I'm using my GHD Platinum Plus Styler. Turn it on, let it heat up a little bit. It only takes like 20 seconds to heat up. There you go. And I haven't used the whole set of extensions. I've got like loads left of the big wefts. I just kind of put like one of each size in. It's not over. We need to get dressed and accessorize. Whew, I don't even know what to wear, but my fake tan's shit. I've got hairy legs. I've got hairy everything, to be honest. And the weather is not the nicest today. We've been having some beautiful weather lately, but today it's windy. It's a bit sunny, a bit cloudy. There's a few rain clouds up there. So maybe some jeans? Might be the best pick today. Still haven't brushed out these waves yet, by the way. I'm just letting them all kind of like do their thing. And I'll probably brush my hair out shortly. I love this hairstyle though. It looks very like effortless. You know, like I didn't even try. Oh, I've got a friggin' hair clip mark just here. I need to straighten out. BRB. Jeans, jeans, jeans. My goodness. I don't even know what to go for today. Black, blue. I wonder how a nice gray tone would look. Or do I go for my handy dandy ones that are chucked on the ground? Because I literally wear them all the time. I just found one of those Lady Gaga eyeliner stickers stuck in my bra. Well, it's daytime. I don't want to go too crazy. So, t-shirt, jeans. I'm going to dress it up with some cute accessories. And obviously, my hair is quite nice and dressy. Is that a thing? I don't know. I got all these new accessories from Miss Lola. Absolutely love these ones. Maybe I'll wear these. Those earrings were way too intense. So, I swapped them for these ones, which are also Miss Lola. But they're just a little bit more chill. Because the other ones clashed with the face gems way too much. All right, shoes. I have some new Miss Lola ones. Don't mind all the freaking scraps of paper and shit on the ground. I need to clean up my room and vacuum after doing my PR haul. A couple of different styles here. These are just like everyday shoes. Don't mind my pedicure either. I desperately need my toenails painted, but these are really cute. Just like casual styles. I might go with the ones with the toe strap. I feel like they look nicer with the jeans. What do you guys think? They're so cute. So my jacket is Tiger Mist. This t-shirt is Boohoo, to be honest. It's very thin. It's my first time wearing it. I purchased it a little while ago. And then my jeans are Fashion Nova. I might change my jacket still. I don't know. But yeah, you guys will shortly see anyway. Last step, perfume. I'll show you my favorite one at the moment. It's literally like heaven. It's like super, super vanilla-y. It's called Olympia by... 
don't know. Does anyone know? <laughs> oh, it smells like caramelized vanilla or something like that. It's so good. I'm gonna take you along with me. I'll show you a couple of clips of what food we get and what drinks we get. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the get ready with me. All right, I changed my jersey. This one's a little bit more relaxed fit, long line, and it's not as like hot. Honestly, I was like working up a sweat in that last one. I don't know where I got it, but it's by the brand Little Lies, and I got a size small medium. It's really, really relaxed, cute big pockets. It's almost like a blazer kind of style, and really pretty soft pink, which I thought looked really pretty with my eye makeup and my lips, but now I feel like I might change my earrings to something like silver. Yeah, I love the jacket. I'm pretty sure I bought it like a couple of months ago. I might wear this bag, even though it's got a bit of gold, but I've actually just taken off my earrings. I'm not gonna wear any, so maybe the gold will be okay there. This is by the brand Peter and Jane, and it is the style Bridget nude. It's almost like it was meant to be. It matches perfectly. But yeah, that is my outfit. Super relaxed but still very cute. Like I said, we're going to like quite a nice restaurant. It's not like fancy dress or anything and it is just lunchtime so something like this is perfect. Alright, I promise I'm ready this time. How did I get lipstick here? Can someone please explain? Hello sir. What's going on? Susie. Carrot? <laughs> you already had one. You're not allowed two in one day. That's against the law. Yeah, this is where we're eating like today. Not, we we had it one time. Like yeah. And then we were at two. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I think. It'll be like we've heard of, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Are we finished with this flatbread?